This is the plaintiff, Rita Heidenberg. She says she rented a room in her apartment to the defendant, and the woman was a nightmare. She said she was a dancer but stayed out all night and came home at like 7 in the morning. She ended up moving out, trashed the room, burned holes in her futon, and called 911 on her and told the cops to come over for an emergency. Bottom line, she's thankful the woman's gone and is suing for the $1,015 she's due. This is the defendant, Tiana Nichelle Laguerre. She says the plaintiff's a nut who called the cops, claiming her brother hit her, and then smeared lipstick on her face to make it look like blood. She also told the cops she was a stripper and a prostitute and that she left her child unattended. Thank God she got herself out of there. She did nothing to damage the room, and the plaintiff isn't getting a penny out of her. She's accused of wrecking and running. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have unsworn you. Thank you, Douglas. <laughs> okay, Rita Heidenberg, you yes. are suing Tiana Nichelle Laguerre for $1,015 that you say is owed in rent and damages. Yes. Uh, she is your former tenant of yes. a very, very short time. Tell me what yes. happened. Yes, um, I was renting out uh, one of my rooms, and I went through and an agent. you live in what kind of place? It's a two-bedroom apartment. A and do you own it, or you rent? I'm renting. Okay, so you sublet yes. a room to her. Go yes. Ahead. And um, I went through an agency, and they said, don't worry about anything. We're going to have someone come over to your house if you find a person that will be suitable for you. So I got a phone call on um, Labor Day, which was a Monday, uh, from Raymond himself. He said, I have someone perfect Who's for Raymond? you. Raymond? Raymond is the agency, okay. Raymond's room. I have a perfect person for you. She works two jobs. She's a single female. Just what you want is a single female. I said, yes, okay, bring her by. She came by. She loved the place. She gave me the thumbs up. She let me know that she has an eight-month-year-old baby. And uh, I told her that I do have a dog. She says she was okay with that. And um, she says, great. So she gave me um, money uh, towards the rent. She said she wanted to pay $900 a month. She wanted to pay month to month. She goes, if I feel comfortable, if we have it notarized, at least, so you feel comfortable, I feel comfortable. I said, great, we'll put it together. Okay. So she came the next day with her whole family, mother, father, brothers, helped her move. She's in a very, very nice family. I'm like, I was blessed until everything got haywire. Um, so she moved in and everything, and her brother was cooking her dinner. He left. Her baby daddy came, and he stayed overnight. I didn't know it. I gave him their space. The next morning, I heard voices. I'm thinking, did he stay overnight? It's supposed to be single female only. I let it slide because it's probably the baby's father to get the baby acclimated, which is fine. So um, I texted her. I said, um, I hope everything's OK. I hope you slept well. Do you want to come on out and sign the lease and we can talk about it? And by the way, do you have your, your pay stubs and W-2 forms or anything from your employer? That's, now's when you're asking for it, after she's well, already moved in and well, slept over? And yeah, because I mean, we, don't we, you think you should we, probably ask for all that stuff well, beforehand? Well, actually, I did. We discussed it when she no, first came. No, I know, came. but you didn't get it, did you? I didn't. Right. So you shouldn't let anybody into your home until you've got them. You're right. So I told Raymond, I feel a little uncomfortable. I really don't know who this person is. I don't have her ID. I don't have any pay stubs. I don't have. I don't even know where she works. I'm a little concerned because there's people, other men coming into my house that I don't know. Meaning her brother and her baby's father? Yes, and, okay. and whoever else who she may have turned the keys. She actually gave her brother my set of keys. What was happening was she was going out late at night catting around, and the brother was, she snuck her brother in to babysit the child. The baby was crying all hours of the night. Turns out he was going out smoking, leaving the baby unattended. So I was kind of concerned about the baby, the child. Like, where's Tiana? She's supposed to be here. Where, where, where is she? Apparently, she's out doing. When you say catting around, what do you mean? Catting around, she's prostituting. She's How an escort. Did, okay, where did you? I'm she sorry? told me. She told me that she is a stripper and that she's a dancer and that she goes out and she does that for money. Okay, but that's not the same as prostitution. Well, that's escorting is a form of prostitution. Oh, escorting. escorting. She told you that she escorts? Yes. She's a stripper and an escort. All right, so she, she, when she, did you learn that you had rented a room out to um, an S, a, well, according to you, a prostitute? Yes. When did you learn that? She said, I have to be honest with you. I'm a stripper. I dance. I, 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 I'm a stripper. That's what I do. And I, at first, I didn't understand what that meant. And then as other friends were telling me that's probably what she's doing late at night, I don't know exactly what she's okay, doing. So when does everything hit the fan? September 11. It was a Sunday. I was on my way to church with some, meet some friends. She leaves me a text message saying, oh, it slipped my mind, and um, I'm going to be leaving and taking all my things and leaving nothing but a box. 
and I'm going to live for free for a week, and I want to refund. Live for free for a week where? In my, in my apartment, with my keys, and I'm okay, obviously something went wrong before yeah. that. What's the first thing that goes wrong? The doors were open. They were smoking, like, perpetually every 20 minutes, and my dog was bark barking constantly, and my dog almost escaped out of the, out of the house, and they, like, didn't really care. So there had been a fight about that or something? No, I mentioned it, you know, that I was, had concerns, you know, what was going on, who's coming in and out of my house, okay. who you're leaving the keys with. I wanted to discuss this with her, and she, she was feeling the heat because I was telling her my husband has concerns. Where's where your husband in all this? He's away. Okay. He's away. And I, I, I was just trying to tell her that... We have concerns because the baby, the dog, you know, pay stubs. We don't really know who you are, really. Okay. I'm thinking something is that. I, I, okay, I had may I see around. the text? Yes. All right, and at this point, she had paid you how much of the $900? She paid me approximately half. So you didn't even demand the full rent in advance? I ha was sympathetic toward her because she Were was. Were you sympathetic toward her? Did you need the money very badly? Well, both. Yeah. I felt bad because she was a single mom working two jobs, working very hard, and I wanted to give her a chance. If she doesn't have a place to stay. And what were the two jobs again? She says she was a butcher and a stripper. That's what she a said. A butcher and a stripper. A butcher okay. and a stripper. All right, let me see the text. While you look for that, let me okay. hear from you. Hey, how are you? Good, how are um, you? I'm great, thank you. So I, the place was awesome until like the dog started barking all day and all night. And then when she would leave the house, she would, like, let the dog out free. I didn't understand why she would do that, knowing, and she's witnessed my son, like, cry because her dog jumps up. It's, a, it's her apartment. This is understandable, but right. she could have warned me ahead of time, and she didn't. So as far as me being a stripper, whore, prostitute, um, when I applied for Raymond's Rooms, he asked me for my pay stub. He had the pay stub for Ali Doro, uh, the sandwich shop that I was butchering in. And then I told him, I'm like, Raymond, I have to be honest with you, because my pay stubs weren't adding up to the amount of money that I would have to give her. I'm like, I do dance. He's like, no problem. So I figured he let her know that. But when he you didn't. say dance, there's dance and then there's stripping, which is it? I am a stripper. Okay. I, I was a stripper. Are you an escort? No. Okay. Wow, Did you ever tell her that, or she's just jumping to conclusions? Uh, she's definitely jumping to conclusions. Okay. She's All right, so you, at some point, crazy. you feel uncomfortable, and you don't want to stay there anymore. The dog is driving you crazy, and I take it you two weren't really getting along at that um, point, No, I... we really, like, our conversations were cool, just as far as the paperwork that she needed. I kind of did Why don't you owe the rest of September? Why don't I? Because yeah. I lived there for six days. Why pay her if I'm not going to be there? Okay, that's, that's the only reason. Yeah, legitimately. Okay. Now, there's a confrontation that occurs. Is this the brother? Yes. Come on up. There's a confrontation that occurs between you two. Let oh, me hear yes. your version of it first, and then I'll hear you. Go ahead. Yes. Um, after, she called the police, and she said that, you better get here right away, I, otherwise I have to beat this woman up. I don't want to have to beat this woman up. <laughs> okay. She said on 911, and I have her on recording on the phone saying that. Do you? I do. Can I hear it? Oh, yes. Okay. Did she say that to 911? She did. Well, that sounds like a yes. <laughs> I don't know what she has, honestly. You well, know, what, do you, what did you say? You I, know what you I said. I know. I remember saying that I was going to sell her dog because I was angry that she didn't want to give me my money back and she was making a what big deal. What did you deal. say to 911? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even remember. Like I okay, really can didn't. I just ask you, if she Sorry. called 911 and said, I'm renting to some black lady, 
You would find her to be a little racist, right? She actually has called me those. No, no, uh, but what, what, why were you telling 911? I'm running to some psychotic white lady. What was the white about? What um, was that? How was that a necessary? I'm not a racist. Don't make it seem. No, like I'm just that. asking you. What was white? You know, wouldn't you think if she said I'm renting to a crazy black lady but she has, that it sounds? She, I'm just asking she you. Said I, said, it. I am she, a student of human nature. I'm just no, asking absolutely. you. Wouldn't you feel? Because I would. If she said I'm renting to a crazy black lady, yeah. I would feel like a pang. Yeah. The so, way you just so no, 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 no. So no, no. So when you say I'm rent, I'm renting from a crazy white lady, don't you think it's the same thing? Yeah. A little You're bit. Absolutely. You're right. Know, you, that was harsh coming out. All right, yo, that's the least of the hard stuff. The, the, the worst stuff was, I'm, I don't want to have to beat her, so you better get over here. So would the police come? Oh, yeah, they actually did come. And mind you, I called them, and they went straight to her. So uh, they slammed the door in my face. I guess let her tell whatever whatever it is that she told them, showed them some type of recording that Do she had. Do you hired. think that maybe the police were uh, off put by, I don't have to beat her? Or do I you mean, think that, that they were just no, being automatically were, racist? They were super like cool. maybe, maybe that was a little nutty to they say were, to 911. A little bit. All right. In any event, that's where we are. So the police get there, and what happens? There's a confrontation between you two. Is that after or before the police get there when she calls them? Before. So she gets off the phone with 911. She gets in my face, and she says, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my money. I'm going to sell something. I'm going to steal your dog. I'm going to break something. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my money back now. And I'm like, what? And then, and then she said, um, my husband, he's cheating on you, and he's blanking another woman. I'm thinking, why, what are all these hurtful things for, you know? And the brother's there. I don't know. The brother's been there all week, sleeping there, living there. I said, and you, out of my house. You're not, you're not authorized to be here. He says, suck my blank. I said, excuse me? I said, get out of my house now. No, make me. Really? He gets in my face, and I have it on video. You have this on video? I have like, it on video. Dude, All right, let was, me see the video. She was prepared Dude. for this. Okay, literally. hold on, hold on. No, no, video, give me that. Oh. Hand that to my bailiff. No, no, this way. I got you. I got you. Just pause it for me, and then I'll bring it up there. And my son's there. She's, she's, she's an escort. She's an escort. And you want to know what? I don't want no dirty no, people coming over. Oh, don't ever talk about my sister like that. I swear me. to God. No, I'm not going to hit you. No. Get the oh, out of my house. Oh, oh, oh. And he hit me. Oh, you push her in the video. You well, don't she, just slap a phone out of her hand. If that was the case, the police would have arrested him when they seen that video. They, no, I'm just seeing it with my own eyes, girl. Video? I'm seeing it with my own eyes. She Come here. No, yeah, I'm dying video. for you to see it. Come over here. And Come if here. you stop the still. <laughs> Come over here and watch. There's you. But look what she did first, though. She struck me. That's so no. Go back and let me. Yeah, your hand's on his neck. Yeah, thank you. No, I was holding him back yeah. off of me. Well, I know, but when you hold him and you touch him, then he pushes you know. back. That's what occurs there. Look, the police come and then what happens? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So if you had a place you were renting at, would you have any issue renting it out to a stripper? As long as she wasn't doing anything to ruin the place, no? Uh, well, stripper stuff, maybe. Well, uh, what do you say? No. No, no problem. Yeah, none. Who has a problem? Anybody? Oh, you have a problem. I can already see it. What kind of shady characters would she have over? Why is she shady? Because she's just a stripper. It's all cash. Come on. <laughs> I mean, Demi Moore was a stripper in a movie. I mean, she's... she's acting. She was acting. Oh, right. Going inside the courtroom. They get my side. Everybody says everybody's part. Nobody gets arrested. Yeah. Do you guys leave that day? Yes. Okay. I leave with my nephew earlier than okay. my sister does. All right. When do you leave that day? Um, once I finished packing my things. Were and... you still at the place when oh, she left? Oh, yes, with she my dog spectating. in my right hand. OK, and then you are suing today because according to you, she ripped up a pillow. There's a missing knife. She left the place dirty. And she put ass prints on your futon. Yes. 
Okay, what are ass prints? Well, apparently she doused baking soda on my futon. She must have sprayed her tush with water. She sat in and wiggled it. Bro. And How did, where her, do you get this from? Aren't you there when this is happening? Like, aren't you physically there watching what's going right on? This is her butt print with her spine and her derriere all over my futon Bro. and the pillow. Can you hold that up again while oh, yeah. I just... Right there. Can you turn around? No. <laughs> <laughs> my ass okay. is bigger than that. Okay. Like, Can I ass. just ask you, did you right, sit on baking soda? No, I didn't. She called the cops four times. In the and space I'm, of? Um, I, I We're talking about a, a couple of hours? You're sitting yeah, on the same day? literally. Like, I'm trying to find a ride for my brother and my son to get out of there. Do you have pictures was, that you would like to show me? Yes. This Is this uh, inside of a room that she was renting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this the stuff you left behind? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't have to do that, like though. The, you can't do a that. a blender as well, but she was continuously calling the cops. I gotta okay. go. Like, yeah, but you can't, no, but that's not how it works. You have to get everything of yours out of there. Did you put cigarette burns in the futon? I never futon? smoked in that room because I have an eight Did month your brother old? smoke in that no, room? Never. He, Did she call the Department of Children and Family Services? Yeah, I have an ACS case open now because of her saying that I leave my son nights on end. For... Was there ever a time that she left the baby unsupervised? Yes, yes, Why while she was away. The cops then? While she was away, late at night, the brother was in there, which he had no authorization oh, to be. He would alone. continually go out smoking cigarettes. The baby's in the back room crying. Do you have children? I don't, but I got nieces and nephews. Okay. Because if you really were worried about the baby while he walks outside for a second to have a cigarette, it wasn't a one would. Well, then, why didn't you call the police right then? Why didn't you call Department of Children and Family Services you know, right then? Because then it right. starts to look like exactly what she said, which is you didn't call them because you weren't really concerned. You decided to have a family case filed after she left because of all the unpleasantness that happened. Pretty much. Yeah, okay. That looks like a fresh cigarette burn. Show it to her, please. Yo, if the Lord would come down and strike me now, I would never smoke in a room no, maybe with brother, my maybe, son. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't I smoke. Maybe never, you just burned the cigarette no, burns. I, well, no, that's, but, okay, no, but that futon has a fresh cigarette burn. She, I, she did that. You think There's, she did it? I, for a Because she's fact, nuts? For a fact. I would never. never. You, you could ask my brother. Why would she damage I'm her own futon? For this, because she's crazy. Because your, your butt print was already on it and she didn't want it? When I have my son and enough. I'm around my brothers, even it with does, them. I have to say, as I nutty as it sounds, it does look like a butt okay. print. It's okay, and she did it. It does. So it looks like somebody took baking soda, put it down, and then sat on it with their nalgas with no underwear. Well, Just for, yeah, for grins, because. You, that's dumb. Listen, well, you know what's dumber than that? And I know you did, is telling 911, I don't want to have to beat her, get over I did, All I right, did so, say that, and I So we know that. that you have an uncontrollable crazy streak in you. Do you have a receipt for the futon? I do. May I see it? Yes. I think. This says sofa bed. This, this isn't for a futon. Well, it says sofa bed, futon. It's, they call it a sofa bed as well. It, it doesn't say futon. It just says sofa bed. Is there a sofa in the, in the apartment? Um... The sofa bed that I was sleeping on. That's, That's it. That futon? There was, yeah, there was no living room. So what did she leave behind? Um, some flat boxes, some hangers, and a pair of Crocs, and what else? And she left, um, let's see, a blender, a pan, some cups, plates, and she has some important documents that I thought she could, that she needed. It was um, welfare, paperwork, and um, her job, menu descriptions, which I found interesting because the address Is this a cigarette? Do you smoke? I do Please not. Please tell me what kind of cigarette it is, and we I can can't prove tell. this now. I can't we can tell. prove it now. What do you smoke? I smoke Newports, and uh, the the filter is brown. That looks like a white filter, not my cigarette. Uh, back again with the white thing? <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> that, that was hilarious. <laughs> That's a cigarette, all right. And then um, the other document she left was. Um, some other paperwork from um, We Care, which is like a medical thing. Hold up thing. that pillow again. I'm sorry. Uh, hold up that pillow. Can I bend over for you too? No, Yo, no. Listen. Yeah. No, hey, 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 walk back. Oh, I don't know I'm where you think you are. This I'm is sorry. not. I apologize. Like, okay. I wasn't yeah, trying to we be. Know. We don't have that happen. We don't I, have I litigants walk up to each other and then press a pillow to their butts. That's kind I, of, we I haven't apologize. descended to that. You're right. <laughs>
Yeah, seriously, turn around. For real? You want just turn around one can second. I, just step out and turn I, around. Can I like do it as if I'm sitting? No, no, so yeah, yeah, can... yeah, whatever, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Go back. <laughs> I'm going to order based on what I've heard for you to pay the rest of September because that's the law. That's how it works. It's a month to month. I'm also going hey. to order a s small amount for cleanup and I'm not what she's asking for, but a smaller amount and I'm going to order a depreciated amount for the futon. Judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $650. That's my judgment. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Ms. Laguerre has just come out of the courtroom. It's quite a case. Yeah. Quite an experience. What, what's your reaction to what went on? In uh, I really don't care. Just always strive and prosper, man. That's right. it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Pat. You may. <laughs> you know, she was pretty wild, but you're... you're Pretty salty yourself. <laughs> a little embarrassed hearing yourself on the tape, uh, the judge listening to you? I'm not embarrassed at all. I'm glad that she was exposed and that, uh, you know, you got to be careful who you rent your rooms to. And, I was going to say, you have learned a lesson the hard way, valuable I think. Valuable lesson, valuable lesson, yes. What are you going to do with the futon? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to toss this in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame you there. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so You've much. You've assigned some documents, and that will bring this case to a close. Harvey? Okay, I am not going to dismerge strippers here at all, and I really mean that. But whoever you rent a place to, it is always a good idea to do a background check. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.